Hey everybody, Doug8798 here. This is my short review of Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, the Ultimate Edition review. There will be a much longer version on my Super Vader 400 account, but right here, this is the um, short version. This video won't be that long in comparison to the long version because there really isn't much um to talk about i'm just gonna briefly talk about um the extra scenes the ultimate um the ultimate edition um added and before i start um before i get started i want to say the ultimate edition um the ultimate edition even though it would have been a long three hour movie the ultimate edition is the, is the version they should have released in theaters because this ultimate edition really added to the story really added to the story it didn't correct all the plot holes but it added um it added more to the story and it added more it added more motivation and more reasons for why batman and superman hated each other i really didn't need that but i felt the film needed that back when it was in theaters for all the people who of course who who really didn't understand who really didn't understand what was going on and and sort of um and the critics who of course gave a negative review for the film could due to the what they what they described as an unfocused narrative that's what they um described the film as but this um this dv this narrative was um more focused they also gave more story and more depth and they explained um lex luthor his plan to frame superman plan to frame superman more and and i mentioned um them going more into depth on why batman and superman hated each other first um with um with um lex luthor's um plan when he framed um superman they that that scene in africa in the beginning that scene was longer and it turns out i was wondering I, me I, I remember one of the um, one of, a YouTube user saying um, Jimmy Olsen was in the film and he was the guy who got killed in the beginning. I was when I watched the theatrical version, I was wondering where what wondering where Jimmy Olsen was, but um, he was the guy who got killed in the in the beginning in that scene. And that scene was even longer and it showed you more of how um, how Lex Luthor made it look like Superman killed those people even though it was um Lex Luthor's company it was the men working for Lex Luthor's company I don't remember the the assassin's name but he appeared throughout he appeared throughout the film it was uh it was it was Lex Luthor's group and um that assassin who killed him and they st stacked the bodies they stacked the bodies up which made it look like Superman had um which made it even more look like how Superman could have killed those people even though um he did it then of course um well of course batman still hates superman for what he did to um metropolis and sees superman as a threat then um superman then 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 superman of course um you have this batman who is not only killing people but he is branding people to be killed he branded that one prisoner and then that prisoner in the ultimate edition version got killed got killed in prison got stabbed multiple times in uh prison so you know superman even this superman won't tolerate that type of vigilante justice these are not um this is um these are not like mercy killings or killing or um or um necessary kills this is this is cold what batman was doing was cold-blooded um Mur murder that was way too brutal even for this superman this guy was branding people first off he was branding people then he was setting them up to be killed um in, p in places like uh prison so you know superman won't tolerate that criminal he won't tolerate that criminal justice he won't allow a guy like that like a guy like batman a guy like bruce wayne to run around free so um you can see it adds more to the why these two um hate each other and the African woman from the beginning. You can see how um how she had more how she had more to do with um how she had more to do with um Lex Luthor's plan and that scene where the assassin um the assassin pushed her in front of the train. Ooh, that scene was sick. Yeah, I can see why this is rated R 
because this was um this film was violent especially um superman um superman um superman i think i, I think he melted the, the on those guards with the, that scene when Batman was in the desert to steal the kryptonite, he, I think he melted them with his heat vision. Then, of course, um, later the fight scene in the warehouse at the end, the fight scene, the fight scene in the warehouse at the end when Batman was trying to save Martha, that scene was brutal where Batman straight up burnt that guy, burnt that guy. So I can see why this is um rated R. Here's what the film didn't improve. While I understand Lex Luthor's motivation. They didn't make that clear for the um, audiences. And to tell you the truth, the third part of this film, which is actually one of my favorite parts of the film, which was the the um, battle between Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman versus Doomsday, and the death of Superman. As much as I love that entire scene, that entire scene should have been cut out and saved for a Justice League film in the future. Because... Um, that scene it didn't belong with with the first two acts of the movie so um these are the problems the movie had but um but i I still love that final that third act because that third act is everything i want to see in a dc um in a dc extended universe uh movie so um so um So um yeah so yeah this ultimate edition was good. I wish they would have released this version in um I wish they would release this version in theaters um because they like I said it made the story just a tad bit more clear. All right um I'm done for now.